Hello, BSI members and employees, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bonds Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles company for the better. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the tragic closure of Bonds Burgers back on July 20th, 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you, the Relocate Project. But before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way. Let's start analyzing the Relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous dates, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appeared, such as books, merch, animated movies, we even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram the robots of Bonds Burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not-so-distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bonds Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart.
technical support. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the Bunny Smile Storage Facility. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Bunny Smile uniform. Um, but most importantly, all of you must always under any circumstance use your BSIID card. Once you have all the necessary equipment at hand, we are ready to go. Hello, I see you made it to the storage facility. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. But let's stop and think, do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9. Lantern? Check. Snacks? Check. Key? Check. Camera? Check. Wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the... It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers, you name it. Remember to always treat this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. Alright, this is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bonds Burgers restaurant. The third door is used to hide... Welcome to the basement. Right now, you are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. In the Bond Burger restaurant, remember to avoid touching or shining lights with our robots unless you are a facility technician. Now let's move on to the next room. How odd, I remember we visited this room already. Sophie, where am I? Listen, 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 listen. By the time the lady entered the backstage as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Rose broken will fix you. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. But, um, the place itself was open during a short period of time, in which, um, a certain number of cases occurred around the area. Damn. Huh. Yeah. And there were complaints from people that lived near the restaurant about the place playing music during midnight, like, two or three in the morning, along with the lights on, which was weird, because 
back then, the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. But yeah, the police closed after people reported hearing the screams of the adult woman inside of the restaurant. Jeez. So yeah, yeah. Some hours after that specific case was reported, restaurant decided to close its doors, probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Um, what's weird about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let like one or two families in. And they mentioned later that the animatronics, like the entertainers, were completely absent and the curtains were closed. Well, that's odd. Fuck. This forest reminds me of the movie. It, the, uh. It's like this chainsaw man? I think you change these pieces with the new ones. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the others soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yes. But I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point. That's the point of this whole project, right? The, um, I think we should restore yes. as much as we can, but mm-hmm. right? Yes, but if we keep focusing on these small details, the reprogramming of the robots won't be finished. Hey, Kevin. I doubt we can add the blinked eyes feature on this one. I think it's a really damage. I'm also if someone did this intentionally. I think all these holes in the suit and stuff were made after the closing. What do you mean? When the place closed down, some of the tests, the company who created the robots, had to revise them after noticing a good amount of irregularities in them. During the process, they probably did this mess to get to the end of sales. Good night, guys. Ah, it is so cold in this place. Look at this key. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentions its purpose? You were just overlooking stuff. I mean, why would they give us a key with no use whatsoever? Exactly! It has to be for something interesting. Maybe, but we're, uh, running out of time. We should focus on finishing these robots by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Hello! This will probably be the last part of today before we leave. So, yeah. Bad news! Your programming phase was unsuccessful. We had a lot of inconveniences when we tried to restore the robot, some damaged parts in the end of the the models made it impossible to add the new features, and let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah, we hope we can go back with better equipment and a better deadline. As Hillary said, we begged the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan, but for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the uh, uh, re- re- relocation project. And log. I am using the camera because I am planning to buy her with this key leads to. I'm sure whatever this key hides could save the project. I will show this footage she has once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. It took me a while, but I realized the key leads to this door, labeled back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. I don't think I have enough time, so I'll just try and peek around the doors and see what's inside. There are a ton of empty rooms with boring stuff. I came across this door, which, uh, which was open. Kind of weird. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces, and from the looks of it, some unused animatronics, I guess? I won't go into detail about what I find, since I'm in a rush, of course, and... Uh, this, this room, number 26 or 27, I, I think? Um, as you can see here, there are some, uh, Spare head? Nothing I interested in to be on. <laughs> well, this is a little bizarre. I can't really tell if this body is a robot or a puppet, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. <laughs> Last door. I am. I've never seen this clown thing before. It's really, like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a close. Um, I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So I guess I'll have to be brave and uh try and see what this whole thing. Is. I don't really know why this dude has a cassette player thing installed. But well, my guess is that it's used for, um, for birthday parties, like, you know, play a customized tape or something? I don't know. But we're about to find out.
Jan, Susan, Charles, Rosemary, Sophie. Uh, Oh, man. 